Three of the six states with the largest percentages of Hispanic residents, Florida, Arizona, and Nevada, are all competitive political battlegrounds this midterm election season. In Florida, a state that has been trending Republican, the GOP has had some success with certain parts of the Hispanic population. Latino voters there make up about a 20% share of the state's electorate. Our Enrique, Enrique Acevedo joins us from Miami to talk about what he's learned about this possibly, possibly, key swing voting bloc. Enrique, there's been a lot of shift to the right among Latino voters in Florida, Texas, and other states. Why, why is that happening? Well, I think there's two set of factors, John. The uh, things like student loans, reproductive rights, inflation, higher uh, interest rates, things that everyone cares about, the general electorate cares about. And then there's a particular set of factors that resonate with Latinos more. And where Republicans, I think, uh, have done a better job of connecting with those voters. Democrats may question their methods, but the truth is that they have connected with the Latino voters on, on those sets of issues. For example, country of origin. I mean, U.S. policy towards places like Cuba, uh, Venezuela, Nicaragua. The hawkish approach that Republicans have taken towards uh, dictatorships in those countries uh, have been uh, well received by um, uh, Venezuelan Americans, Cuban Americans, and Nicaraguans who are citizens and are voting in, in, in this country. You can see that in places like South Florida, uh, where Cuban Americans have always been a reliable voting bloc for Republicans. And there's also identity politics. This entire discussion and debate about how Latinos uh, describe themselves, Latinx, Hispanics, Latinos, uh, and uh, again, Republicans there have capitalized on, on this debate and have uh, connected with voters in, in, in a more effective way. Enrique, just one other, uh, to, to grab your point about Cubans in Florida, help us understand the special way in which the, uh, the vote, the Latino vote in Florida is particular to Florida, um, and, and then how that might be different from some other states where Republicans are trying to make inroads. Absolutely. Well, you have to look at South Florida, where 4.7 million people live, the majority of them Latinos, uh, a large voting bloc uh, composed mainly uh, historically of, of Cuban Americans. That has changed. We can talk about that, too. But um, the, the way that the Republican Party has approached the U.S.-Cuba relation uh, historically to uh, supporting the embargo, a tougher stand, even the idea of intervening in Cuba uh, at some point, I, I think that has been welcomed by the Cuban exile, and they have created a, a very loyal base among Cuban Americans through generations. At some point, that, that seemed to be crumbling in a way, because younger generations were favoring engagement and uh, were standing against the embargo. But I, I think that uh, that has changed uh, again, and, and uh, that's how Republicans have had this very solid uh, and, and productive relationships with Cuban Americans, as well as now with Venezuelan Americans. And what about the the issue of religion? Is there some uh, connection that that Latino voters um, might feel with a with a Republican Party that's been seen as more religious versus Democrats who are seen as more secular? This is so interesting, John, because of course historically Latinos who are mainly Catholic um, come from from uh, Catholic societies in, in Latin America. Uh, are more social uh, conservative on social issues, right? Like uh, abortion, for example, uh, LGBTQ rights, and 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 others. Uh, there's a shift now in terms of religion. I think more and more uh, Latinos are identifying themselves as Christians, evangelicals, uh, you know, uh, uh, and 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 other uh, faiths. And 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 th th there's also a connection with a uh, with, con with conservative movements and with Republicans in this country. So it's fascinating. I don't think we've, we've uh, analyzed that enough and talked about it and reported on it enough. But I do think that religion has been playing a major role in, in, in the politics we're seeing in, in the Latino community. And we're likely to see it in those two uh, big races, the governor's race and the Senate race there down there in Florida. Enrique Acevedo in Miami for us. Thank you so much, Enrique. Thank you, John.